Neighbors near Hamlin University are concerned over the university's latest project. It involves the demolition of a house from the 1800s. Neighbors say tearing it down would likely leave an empty lot in its, in its place. Aaron Asanzada explains why some say the house should stay standing. This home just off the Hamlin University campus looks worn and tattered now. But of course, it wasn't always this way. It was called the G.D. Walcott House. Uh, it was built in 1888 uh, as a home for Professor G.D. Walcott, who was the head of the philosophy department, the founder of the philosophy department here at Hamlin University. But 1549 West Minnehaha Avenue is about to be history. Hamlin University rejected another round of adaptive reuse ideas um, and voted to demolish the house. But instead of playing that up and expressing pride in their history, they're tearing it down, building by building. The teardown plans are upsetting neighbors like Richard Trout. The university sort of chipped away at the neighborhood. He moved in 16 years ago, drawn in by the historic charm. Our house is the new house on the block. It was built in 1923. But he's watching it slowly fade away. It's frustrating to, to see them continuing down that path. Largely, they've, they've turned their backs on us. It just serves no purpose. We don't need empty lots. We need housing and we need beautification. If this house becomes a vacant lot, it'll join two others just down the street. This house was torn down nearly 10 years ago. And just up this way, there's another empty lot that's also owned by the university. It used to be a house. It's been empty for 25 years. When you drive down the street and you see this sort of gap-toothed look, people wonder, what's wrong with this area? That's a sign of urban blight. Uh, and that's what they were creating along this street. Roy Neal says the university had big expansion plans that were tabled by the 2008 recession and flatlining enrollment. The hatch marks represent uh, property that's owned by Hamlin University, but you can see a lot of this is outside of the campus boundary. Preservation Alliance of Minnesota is offering to buy the Walcott House to turn it into a rehab lab. A place for people to learn construction and home maintenance skills. So we took it to Hamlin University and uh, they basically said, nope, we've already voted. We voted to demolish. We don't want to hear any more plans. But until the wrecking ball comes through, these neighbors will beg, please, no more empty lots. This doesn't have to be the end of the story. In St. Paul, Aaron Hazanzada, WCCO 4 News. We've reached out to Hamlin University for comment, but we did not peer back tonight.